Hi there, my name is Michael from the free job interview training website, megainterview.com, where you can find example answers to over 10,000 questions absolutely free. In this job interview training tutorial, I will teach you exactly how to answer different types of interview questions about your strengths. It's important that you answer these questions in a specific type of way because they allow you to showcase your unique value proposition and demonstrate how you can contribute to the company's success. So, if you have a job interview coming up soon for any role or company, please make sure you stay tuned because I promise you to help you pass your interview. And to achieve this goal, this is what I will discuss during this tutorial. To help you ace your interview, I will discuss Number 1. A list of commonly asked job interview questions about strengths to prepare for. Number 2. Important tips for answering each of those interview questions about your strengths correctly so you get the highest score possible. Number three, top scoring example answers to all the interview questions to help you stand out during your interview. And number four, I will tell you where you can find over 10,000 free interview questions and top scoring example answers. Now, if you are new to this channel, Please make sure you subscribe so that we can help you and other candidates pass your interview on the first attempt. We can only help you if you support the channel, so please give the video a thumbs up because it motivates us to keep creating content for you. Thank you, and let's move on to the first question and what you should focus on in your answer. So, the first question about your strengths I want you to prepare for is the commonly asked question, what is your greatest strength? Here are two important tips that you should take into account, and after that, I will give you a high-scoring example answer. Tip number one, describe your strength with specific examples. Instead of simply stating your strength, provide specific examples that demonstrate your proficiency in that area. This will help the interviewer better understand your capabilities and how they align with the job requirements. Tip number two is, highlight how your strength will benefit the company. After describing your strength, emphasize how it will be an asset to the company. This will show the interviewer that you understand the job requirements and are focused on contributing to the organization's success. My top scoring answer to this interview question about your greatest strength is... What is your greatest strength? My greatest strength is my ability to collaborate effectively with others. I have honed this skill through various team projects in my previous roles. One example is when I worked on a marketing campaign for a new product launch. I collaborated with cross-functional teams, including designers, copywriters, and product managers, to develop a comprehensive campaign that achieved a 20% increase in sales. I believe that this strength is essential in any role, as it fosters a positive work environment and promotes creativity and innovation. In addition, my ability to communicate effectively with stakeholders is also one of my strengths. For instance, when I was leading a team to develop a new software product, I regularly updated the stakeholders on the progress and addressed any concerns they had. As a result, we were able to launch the product on time and within budget, achieving a high level of customer satisfaction. Overall, I believe that my ability to collaborate and communicate effectively will enable me to work well with my colleagues and contribute to the success of the company. This is an excellent answer because it not only discusses your greatest strength, but it also provides concrete examples of how you have applied your strength in previous roles. The next question that can be asked in relation to your strengths that we will discuss is, how have you leveraged your strengths in your previous job? Here are two tips. Tip number one, describe how your strengths were used to achieve specific goals or objectives within the organization. For example, I leveraged my analytical skills to identify areas for cost savings and implemented new processes that resulted in a 20% reduction in expenses. And tip number two, Emphasize how you have grown and developed your strengths over time and how this growth has benefited the organization. For instance, I constantly sought out opportunities to develop my leadership skills 
and leveraged them to mentor junior team members, resulting in a more productive and motivated team. So, here is another top scoring answer to help you. How have you leveraged your strengths in your previous job? In my previous job, I leveraged my communication and collaboration skills to lead cross-functional projects and build strong relationships with stakeholders. By ensuring effective communication and collaboration among team members, I was able to successfully deliver complex projects on time and within budget. Additionally, I constantly sought out opportunities to learn and develop my skills and leverage them to identify process improvements and implement new strategies that resulted in increased efficiency and productivity. For example, I developed a new project management system that reduced project turnaround time by 30%. Overall, I believe that leveraging one's strengths and actively seeking out growth opportunities is key to driving success and delivering value to the organization. That is an excellent answer because it effectively demonstrates your strengths and how you can contribute to the success of future organizations. Now, don't go anywhere because we have more questions and answers to discuss. But when you're ready, please head straight to megainterview.com where you can find more free job interview questions and answers, plus information about writing resumes and cover letters and career advancement tips. In other words, we have everything for you to succeed and land your dream job. Now, let's look at the question number three. How do your strengths align with the requirements of this position? Here are two tips to prepare for this interview question. Tip number one, highlight specific skills or experiences that you have that align with the job requirements. For example, I have extensive experience in project management and have successfully led teams to complete complex projects within tight deadlines. Tip number two, emphasize how your strengths can add value to the company and the position. For example, my strong analytical skills will enable me to identify areas for improvement and develop data-driven strategies that can drive growth and profitability for the company. So to help you ace this question, here is an example answer. How do your strengths align with the requirements of this position? My strengths in project management and analytical thinking align perfectly with the requirements of this position. In my previous roles, I have successfully led cross-functional teams to deliver complex projects within tight deadlines while keeping a close eye on budgets and resources. Additionally, my strong analytical skills have enabled me to identify areas for improvement and develop data-driven strategies that have resulted in increased efficiency and profitability. I believe that these strengths, along with my ability to adapt quickly to changing situations and work collaboratively with teams, will add significant value to this position and help the company achieve its goals. That's another fantastic answer that demonstrates your fit for the position and your potential to contribute to the success of the company. Question number four is, what strengths do you possess that will make you an asset to our team? Here are two tips. Tip number one, highlight specific skills and achievements. Make sure that you provide examples of specific skills you possess and how they have helped you achieve success in the past. This will demonstrate your ability to contribute to the team in a meaningful way. And tip number two, show your passion for the role you're applying for. Emphasize your enthusiasm for the position and the company. This will demonstrate your commitment to the team and your willingness to go above and beyond to help the team succeed. Let's have a look at an outstanding answer to this question. What strengths do you possess that will make you an asset to our team? I possess several strengths that I believe will make me a valuable asset to your team. I have strong communication and problem-solving skills, which have helped me successfully manage complex projects in the past. In my previous role as a project manager, I was able to effectively communicate with stakeholders and team members to ensure project goals were met on time and within budget. Additionally, I'm highly passionate about this role and the company, 
I have researched your organization extensively and am impressed with its commitment to innovation and customer satisfaction. I'm confident that my skills and passion will help me contribute to the team's success and make a positive impact on the company. That is another great answer because it effectively demonstrates your value and potential as an asset to the team and company. Moving on to the next question on our list, which is, how do you incorporate your strengths into your work style? Here are two tips. Tip number one, provide specific examples of how your strengths have benefited your past work experiences. And tip number two, emphasize how you actively seek out opportunities to utilize your strengths in your daily work tasks. Here's my top scoring response to this question. How do you incorporate your strengths into your work style? I incorporate my strengths into my work style by consistently seeking out opportunities to apply them in my daily tasks. For example, my strength in communication has allowed me to effectively collaborate with team members and present ideas to clients. Additionally, my strength in problem solving has helped me identify and resolve issues efficiently. I also make a conscious effort to improve upon my weaknesses, seeking feedback and learning from past experiences. Through this process, I can continue to develop and refine my skills. Overall, by incorporating my strengths into my work style, I can bring value to my team and contribute to the success of the company. That is an excellent answer to this interview question because it demonstrates that you are thoughtful, self-aware, and results-oriented all of which are qualities that employers look for in a strong candidate. The next question is, how do you continue to develop your strengths? Here are two tips. Tip number one, emphasize the importance of self-reflection and evaluation to identify areas for improvement and growth. Tip number two, highlight the value of seeking out new learning opportunities, such as attending training sessions, taking courses, or seeking feedback from colleagues. Here's my response to help you. How do you continue to develop your strengths? I believe that self-reflection is a critical component in identifying areas for growth and development. I regularly take the time to evaluate my performance, analyze feedback from colleagues, and identify areas where I can improve. Additionally, I actively seek out new learning opportunities, such as attending conferences or workshops, taking courses, or working with a mentor to enhance my skills. For example, in my previous role, I recognized that I needed to develop stronger communication skills, so I enrolled in a public speaking course to improve my presentation skills. Overall, I am committed to continuous learning and development and I believe that this approach helps me to stay current and contribute to the success of my team. This is another confident answer. It demonstrates that you are committed and proactive and willing to take the initiative to improve your skills and contribute to the success of the team. Another common job interview question is, can you tell me about a time when you used your strengths to exceed expectations? Here are two tips. Tip number one, provide a specific example of a challenge you faced that required you to use your strengths to exceed expectations. Tip number two, highlight the impact of your actions and how they benefited the team or organization. Here is our top scoring answer to this question. Can you tell me about a time when you used your strengths to exceed expectations? In my previous role, I was tasked with leading a team to complete a complex project with a tight deadline. One of my strengths is my ability to effectively delegate tasks and communicate with team members to ensure everyone is working toward the same goal. I made sure to delegate tasks based on each team member's strengths and provided clear instructions and regular check-ins to ensure everyone was on track. As a result, We were able to complete the project two days ahead of schedule and received positive feedbacks from the client for our efficiency and attention to detail. By utilizing my strengths in communication and delegation, I was able to exceed expectations and deliver a successful project that benefited both the team and the organization. 
That is a great answer to this question. That includes specific details and metrics to show the interviewer your ability to deliver results. Next on our list is, can you give an example of how you have used your strengths to mentor or teach others? Here are two tips. Tip number one, highlight a specific instance where you successfully mentored or taught someone. Explain how you leveraged your strengths to achieve this. Use concrete examples to showcase your skills. Tip number two, emphasize the impact that your mentoring or teaching had on the individual or group and how your strengths played a crucial role in their development and success. Let's have a look at an outstanding answer to this question. Can you give an example of how you have used your strengths to mentor or teach others? As someone who is passionate about developing others, I have always enjoyed using my strengths to mentor those around me whenever there is a possibility. A recent example that comes to mind was when I was working on a project with team members who were new to the industry. I saw an opportunity to use my communication skills and industry knowledge to mentor and guide them. I provided them with resources and materials to help them understand the project requirements and help them develop their skills in areas where they were struggling. As a result, not only did they successfully complete the project, but they also gained valuable skills and knowledge that they could apply to future projects. I believe that sharing knowledge and skills is key to building a strong team, and I always look for opportunities to use my strengths to help others develop their own skills. This is a great answer. It demonstrates a growth mindset and a willingness to share knowledge and resources, which are important qualities. Let's move on to the next question, which is, how do you measure the impact of your strengths on your work? Here are two tips. Tip number one, describe the process you use to assess the impact of your strengths on your work, including any metrics or feedback you use to measure success. Tip number two, Emphasize the importance of being adaptable and open to feedback, as this will help you continue to improve and refine your approach over time. Let's have a look at another great example answer. How do you measure the impact of your strengths on your work? As someone who takes pride in their work, I believe it's important to measure the impact of my strengths to ensure that I'm making the most significant contribution I can. To do this, I regularly reflect on my work and gather feedback from colleagues to see where I'm excelling and where I can improve. For example, in my last role, I was responsible for developing a new process that streamlined our team's workflow, resulting in a 30% reduction in turnaround time. I was able to measure the impact of my strengths by tracking the time saved and receiving positive feedback from my team members on how much easier their work had become. However, I understand that there's always room for improvement, so I'm always open to feedback and strive to adapt my approach accordingly. Overall, by regularly measuring the impact of my strengths and being open to feedback, I'm able to continuously improve and make a significant impact on my work. That is an excellent answer that shows that you are committed to continual improvement and that you are willing to take constructive criticism in order to improve your performance. The final question on our list is, how do you communicate your strengths to colleagues or team members? Here are two tips. Tip number one, emphasize specific examples of how your strengths have contributed to the team's success. This could, for example, include metrics or positive feedback from clients or customers. Tip number two, explain how you use active listening and ask for feedback from colleagues and team members to understand how you can better communicate your strengths and contribute to the team. Here's our top scoring answer to assist you. How do you communicate your strengths to colleagues or team members? I communicate my strengths to colleagues and team members by emphasizing specific examples of how my strengths have contributed to the team's success. For instance, I recently led a project where my attention to detail helped us catch a potential mistake before it caused any issues. By sharing this example, I was able to demonstrate how my strengths can benefit the team. Additionally, 
I believe that effective communication is a two-way street, so I ask for feedback from colleagues and team members to understand how I can better communicate my strengths and contribute to the team. This not only helps me improve my communication, but it also shows my willingness to work collaboratively and actively contribute to the team's success. That is a strong answer that demonstrates your ability to communicate your strengths effectively while also showing a willingness to receive feedback and collaborate with a team. So the next thing I want you to do is head straight to megainterview.com and you can find more than 10,000 free job interview questions and answers for any job position you're looking for. You will also find more information about writing a resume and cover letter, but also job search advice and career advancement tips that will put you ahead of the competition. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button so that we can help you and other candidates pass their job interviews, and do not forget to like the video. By liking the video, you let us know that you like the interview questions and answers given, and it also motivates us to create more content. Thank you so much for watching, and I wish you all the best with passing your next job interview.